Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video out here in the workshop. And today, I felt like uh, painting the floor again because I have a wooden floor in here. And there's the color. The reason for it, for the color, let me turn this around here, is because it was on sale for five bucks on clearance. So I figured, yeah, we'll buy two gallons, which I did. And I already used one gallon. This is the second gallon. This is the second year. And it takes a whole gallon. I painted half of the uh, workshop floor. Right over there, uh, my, uh, what do you call it? Air compressor goes here my chop saw, and my planer. I only painted half the floor, as you could tell. So I could walk and move all the stuff from over that side to over here. So I got all my tools over here. As you could tell, I have no more table saw or band saw. Yeah, I sold them. It was a kind of a sad day that day. That guy really wanted to buy them, so I sold them. I already have a, a new table saw ordered. I don't know when it's going to get here, but boy, I cannot wait. And it has wheels like that on the table saw, so I can move it around a lot easier. And if you can see the marks on the floor... That's where the old table saw, I used to have to drag it when it took up the paint. So everything I have here, that's a homemade stand for my chop saw. Uh, that has wheels, this has wheels, and of course that has wheels. So I figured, well, I'm going to get another table saw with wheels so it'll be easier to move. Because every year I do paint the floor, I put almost a whole gallon of paint on this floor I put it on really thick because in the winter time I park my four-wheeler in here with the plow on it I back it in and then all the snow melts and stuff so that protects it I don't care about the color the only reason why it's this color is because it was on clearance for five bucks a gallon so yeah, and plus it's easier to find screws when you drop them, too. Alrighty, so, yeah, I figured I'd work out here in the workshop since it was nice out. I'm doing a lot of work in my computer room also. Okay, we're going to walk out here. I brought the air, air compressor out here, and I drained the water out of it. Oh my, was there a lot of water in it. That's what that floor used to look like over there in the corner. Because <laughs> I, I didn't bring it out. I just did it right here in the workshop. And from now on, I think that's what I'm going to do is bring the air compressor out. And drain it if I can. If not, I'm thinking about putting a plastic pan underneath of it and do it that way. But yeah, I... I got all the stuff right here. There's my paint roller. It extends out. It's a really good one. Uh, that was actually my father's. When he passed away, it was handed down to me. Because he was a painter. So, right there as you go here. It's, that's what the floor looks like. Let me walk back a little further here. So far, I got a lot. I'd say a good half of it painted. And I figure I'd do this side over here first because of that. So I can move everything over, then lightly bring everything back to where it belongs. And then this side will be a lot easier. I just got to move the wood. And that's pretty much it in the broom. <laughs> And that shouldn't take too long to paint. And 
then possibly put another thicker coat right here in the front because this is where all it gets beat up pretty good with the four-wheeler but that wooden floor has lasted oh my gosh well my father passed away in 2013 so that was eight years and i had this built this floor before then so you're looking about 10 years this floor is holding out which is amazing because um it's because i put the paint down to protect it and again i don't care what kind of paint it is it protects it yeah this is just a short video guys i just wanted to show you what i'm up to got a lot of stuff going on someday someday i will get that out i just been so busy with all these projects going on and i have to get them done before winter comes <laughs> especially this floor and it just takes time i was out here sitting watching paint dry for about a half an hour <laughs> But yeah, that's the difference. I mean, you can definitely tell. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll be talking to you.